hi everyone and welcome to today's latest mix up video from Monster Hunter World. Today's set is going to be focused around the Queen's best boy the Hunting Corn, with the build in mind focused around improving its base attack and raw even more of a weapon that's severely underused. So firstly, let's look at the main weapon stats. The Horn is a red 7 Hunting Corn with 2 level 2 dual slots, 630 attack which is calculated to around 160 raw and is considered very low for a damage output for any Hunting Corn and also any weapons in general. It also has moderately good sharpness with white sharpness given straight away when purchased but only small amounts, no affinity, 300 paralysis, 2 augmentation slots and a average list of songs that are very situational for their use and not the all round the best to have on a hunting corn at all. So as you can see with the weapon, it looks amazing and very colourful for a horn with its very unique design and colourisation. At the same time, its sharpness is very useful for those that don't want to invest too heavily into handicraft just to reach white for the weapon, which allows you more freedom in terms of what you want to purchase and add on for your gear. Also, the status it has is pretty great for a weapon which allows you to stop monsters movement much more easier, which for a hunting horn that has the ability to cause exhaustion and KO damage is very top tier when you think about it. That and the 2 level 1 jewel slots and 2 augmentation slots offer room for further customization for whatever you want to build this weapon around, so it is pretty flexible straight away. However, the bad size of this weapon is probably one of the main reasons as to why it's highly underused and that is the low raw and attack range and songs. As you can see, its attacks and raw are extremely low for an entry weapon, being completely sideswiped by other hunting hordes with better attack and raw values. At the same time, its songs are debatable and the situation are best as only 4 out of the 6 songs are useful for you and your team, being self improvement, stamina use reduced large, wind pressure and defense up. But even then only 2 of the songs which are stamina up and self improvement are the only worthwhile songs to use for all situational fights, while the rest are only good against certain monsters or worth using just for their recital damage. It's because of these two areas that I see this weapon being ignored by the many simply because it offers less to the table compared to the Basil Hunting Horn or Nerge Hunting Horn or even Teosha Hunting Horn which is even more situational with some of his songs. If his songs were ideally good or even his tack bummed up into the 700 to 750 ranges then I could see his weapon being one of the many top tier weapons to use just for his stats alone but at currently it's not worth using for end game unless you build around his weakness, which is what I've currently got for you. Now, before I do go into the main build, if you wanted a horn that is similar to the Vespoy horn but ugly on design, then try the Fortimicio horn, I believe I got that right, which has higher war and attack, access to self improvement, attack up large, defense up large, health boost large, and wind pressure negated, 2 augmentation slots, and a level 1 jewel slot, and a hidden paralysis which means you have access to unlocking it or going on elemental route for a larger attack boost. Now the only downside to the weapon when compared to the Vespoidian Horn is that it can only reach blue sharpness maxed and nothing more, which if it did have access to white sharpness it would be in the top 3 most used weapons in game or just generally top hunting horn to use at all. Now don't get me wrong the Vespoidian Horn is still good to use over the Fortimicio Horn if you have a build in mind to focus on this weakness. But for higher damage, the Fortimosia Horn wins against the Vespoid Horn hands down. So the set that we have in mind will be focusing on improving on its weak attacks and making it more viable with current stats to take on endgame monsters even with its weak songs in play. So the skills we have are as follows. Critical I7 for the plus 30 affinity, attack boost 7 for the plus 21 in damage and 5% affinity, critical boost 3 to increase our critical chance the higher our affinity is, Weakness exploit 3 for plus 50% affinity upon monsters weak points. Maximum might 1 for the plus 10% affinity. Paralysis attack 2 to help increase our paralysis build up although this can be changed since you already have enough to begin with. And protective polish 1 to allow me to retain my weapon sharpness for a minute. Overall this will give you 823 attack which is 196 raw including charms and talons, 95% affinity, 427 defense including charms and talons and 340 paralysis which is 34 per activation. So the damage we have is a lot better than we ha what we had before and is now much more viable against all monsters you face. Although its raw is only around 190 and won't be doing deep railroad type of damage upon initial hits, 
it will be doing a substantial amount of damage, which is around 25 to 50 to 75 to 100 on some cases. Nothing too crazy, but nothing too lacking on our end. Also, our songs can allow us to build exhaust and paralysis damage easily when played, and perfectly timed right. So you can basically lock a monster down for a set duration if you play aggressive and focus on the head. I also don't have any Ogs on my weapon, since I don't have the necessary ones available. But if I did, I could have added on an attack Og to push my damage and roll much further, and then a health Og to keep me going. From there, if I tinker around with the set, I could also slot in a Peak Performance 2 skill to gain a plus 10 in attack. But it would mean I would need to sacrifice my Sharp Jewel, which isn't something worth getting rid of because of the White Sharpness damage and multiplier in play, and how extremely useful it is in terms of certain hunts and fights you got games. We can also get rid of the Paralysis Jewels if you want to, to for the Agent Prolonger Jewels instead, which can help with increasing our Sharp Jewel duration for a tad longer. But this kind of depends on whether you want more paralysis quicker, or whether you want your sharpness to last much longer, which basically means more damage from your white sharpness multiplier in play. But overall, this is what I have for you guys to try out. It's great for multiplayer and great for solo player now, but it's nothing too game changing as the songs are still very situational, and the sharpness, although great for increased damage, it can still run out quickly with ease if you don't make full use of the set duration given. I don't believe this set can be improved on anymore with, without sacrificing damage, but maybe in the near future with new armor skills in play, that this could potentially change. We don't know yet, but let's hope. So that comes to the end of my video, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy my content then do leave a like, a sub, and also do press the bell button to stay always updated to when I upload, as I appreciate a lot if you do. But like always, thank you for watching, and I do hope to see you again soon.